Good evening. Welcome to the show. Super Travers Day today. 45,000. The weather, it was a little sprinkle earlier. It cleared up as if they wanted us to have a good day, and we indeed did. As we speak, Diane Krakowski is painting the colors of the winner of the Travers on the statue right in front of our gazebo, and of course, we'll be on the canoe as well. We'll find out about that race and all the others on this great Travers Day right after this. Tight show today, seven furlongs, three-year-olds, claiming tags 50,000 to one, the favorite solo practitioner claimed by Steve Glaceris. And they're off. There goes Grand Chief, up and after the early lead. Siberian native broke alertly on the outside. Wooden Dance coming up the rail. Cold Punch away fourth. Premier's Frolic away in fifth position. Solo practitioner riding the rails and coming on through from sixth. Fiery Jennifer's at the back of the pack. A three-way... Scramble for the lead up the back stretch. Siberian Native moving on the outside to the front now. Siberian Native taking over. Wooden Dance second on the inside. Grand Chiefs between them through a lively quarter in 22 and 2. It's a break of three. Solo Practitioner has rallied now and he has advanced to fourth. Cold punches fifth with the half mile to go. Premier's Frolic dropping back and Fiery Jennifer trails. Around the far turn, Siberian Native drawing away from the field on the far turn. Siberian Native in front by two lengths. Grand Chief is second. Wooden Dance is weakening at the inside. Bailey guides solo practitioner around the weakening horse. And on the outside, cold punch in good striking position. Nearing the top of the stretch, Siberian Native still in front. Grand Chief on the outside. Solo practitioner nowhere to go. Cold punch there on the outside. Wooden Dance gives it up down to the last furlong it's siberian native in front on the outside grand chief and bailey desperate for a way through his solo practitioner completely stymied now he's trying to switch to the outside here's a final hundred yards to go grand chief siberian native finally room for solo practitioner running out of ground grand chief siberian native grand chief has won one of the rare times you'll see bailey in trouble but he was probably cost them grand chief first lasix sheila arnold bobby roboto ramo perez 39 60 12 24 40 siberian native 453 solo practitioner 260 four rates 126 dollars Here's the second. They're going a mile and a sixteenth over the Maiden Turf Course. Mel Mellon Turf Course. These are Maiden two-year-olds. The favorite, the number two, Idaho. And they're off. Snowbirdie down inside. Gestalt gunned toward the lead on the far outside. In between horses are Deer Chaser and Big Big. Four of them heading for the lead as they head for the first turn. Gestalt, the quickest of them all, out hoofing them into the turn. Snow Birdie down inside, running in second. On the outside, Big Big has come out running third. And toward the inside, it's Robin Jen in hand, running in fourth. Alongside that one, Deer Chaser is fifth by two. Irish Silence is sixth. Flashy Splasher is seventh, followed by Bristle and Plymouth Rock. At the back of the pack, Court Cozine, who's conserved now. Thundertoe drafting in behind horses. And Idaho, Idaho, the favorite, is the trailer. The field moving down the back stretch. Up top, it's Gestalt leading the way by a length and a half. On the outside, Robin Jen edging up to be second. And then it's Big Vig now back running in third. Flashy Splasher is fourth. Irish Silence being coaxed along to stay within striking range fifth. On the inside, Deer Chaser is sixth. On the outside, Idaho now launching a bid, drawing within seven lengths of the lead. They're rounding the far turn. Robin Jen to collar the front runner Gestalt. Those two will arrive at the top of the stretch together, four lengths ahead of Flashy Splasher. Big Big toward the inside, Plymouth Rock is picking it up. Farther back, it's Idaho and Thundertoe. Irish Silence. They're coming down to the last furlong now. Robin Jen, here comes Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock now taking charge, passing the eighth pole. Robin Jin second, Gestalt nothing left for the late stages, and Bristle is fourth. Coming down to the finish, it's Plymouth Rock, Plymouth Rock. A killer move by Plymouth Rock, just runs by them, doesn't really do that well. Robin Jin does hang on, Andrew Shapiro, Melinda Smith, Todd Fletcher, and Mike Smith. 14.46.95, Robin Jin, 5.24.20, Bristle, $12. Quinella 4884, 2440, exact the 48, 5450. The doubles a pair of fours, $177.50.
Here's the third, a mile and a sixteenth over the inner turf. Phillies and Mass 3 in upstate Brez. Now winners race other than Maiden are claiming favorite number seven. It's a Gherkin, Julie Crone. And they're off. Lost Era came walking out of the starting gate. Yukiko inherits the early lead. Sunday at one reined in. In between horses, my song, It's a Gherkin. And on the far outside, Meadowmore. Racing for the first turn, Yukiko down inside shortly. My song right alongside her to prompt the early pace. Sunday at one, up close, in hand third. It's a Gherkin taking Menomore wide into the turn for the inside Princess Kavanaugh, the gray saving ground in sixth. Lost Era in and among horses in seventh position. Untold Secret with an aggressive early move, moving four wide and picking off horses one by one down the backstretch. Petunia is conserved at the back of the pack, and reluctant dancer is the trailer. Untold Secret was last just a moment ago, now right up to join the leaders, Yakiko and My Song. It's Yakiko by a half length, My Song second, Untold Secret third, Sunday at one, right up there in behind the lead, saving ground in fourth. Princess Kavanaugh between horses is now fifth, Lost Era on the far outside is racing in sixth. And Petunia's in behind horses. It's a Gherkin is also in the thick of it, only three and a half lengths from the lead, but steadied in traffic. Around the far turn, Yukiko still holding on to the lead by three quarters of a length. My song continues to press the pacemaker on the outside, untold secret racing third, Sunday at one, still in with a chance on the inside, fourth. Princess Kavanaugh in between horses, fifth. It's a Gherkin in traffic and down inside Petunia. Off the turn and into the stretch. Yukiko has another gear for the stretch. It's Yukiko opening up by three. Princess Kavanaugh hitting her best stride late. My song is third. Sunday at one, steady fourth. And to the final hundred yards. And Yukiko still full of run. Princess Kavanaugh. Go to the front. See how far you can go. Well, she's about to go just far enough. One jump short of losing, but she gets the money. Barry Schwartz, Mike Hushin, Philberto Leon, Yukiko, 57, 1940, 11.20. Princess Kavanaugh, 574.50. Reluctant Dancer, 11.60. 5.4, Here's the fourth. This is seven furlongs. He's a three and up. Not one is at allowance conditions. I beg your pardon. Number five, a late scratch, King's Fiction. Devious course gets out first. There goes Count on the Blues. Sent out by Jorge Chavez to grab the early lead. Count on the Blues is in front, but Western Fame is right there with him. Elaju just in behind the front runner. Devious course broke alertly, but now settles at the back of the pack with a conserved Richmond runner. Up the back stretch. Count on the Blues in front. Jorge Chavez trying to throttle down his speed, and he's successful. It was a very easy first quarter of 23 and 2 fifth seconds. Count on the Blues, setting a very easy pace here. Western Fame right alongside him and moving easily. Ella Jude and Richmond Runner in close attendance to this very easy pace. It's two lengths back to Devious Course, who's now trailing. Now the tempo begins to quicken. Count on the Blues, Western Fame turning up some pressure. The half went in 46 and 3 fifth seconds. Nearing the top of the stretch, Con on the Blues by a neck. The favorite Western Fame right alongside him now, on even terms, nearing the top of the stretch. Richmond Runner poised on the outside third. Devious Course begins the roll on the outside. Hello Jude at the rail. The field at the top of the stretch. Western Fame on the outside, on the inside. Con on the Blues. Western Fame ahead in front at the eighth pole. Con on the Blues second. Devious Course continues to close third. 16th pole. Western Fame in front. Con the Blues, Devious Course, Western Fame will do it. Gets the job done. Favorite wins quite easily here for Sword B. Khaled, Billy Mott, and Jerry Bailey, Western Fame. 420, 290, 220, Devious Course, 340, 250, Count the Blues, 270. For another 3663, 810, exact a 3612 dollars. And the pick three, three of three, $761, thanks to Yukiko. Here's the fifth, mile and eighth, Melon Turf, Phillies and Mayors, three and up. Now is a race, Southern Maiden claiming a starter. Favorites, Noble Cause and Fleur de Nuit. Mm, they're off. Bishop's mate breaks alertly from the inside post position. Irish punter is there. Here comes Irish Schilling coming on through to grab an early. Under the line the first time, Irish Schilling short lead, Irish punter to prompt the pace. Bishop's mate tucks away at the inside third. Nimble is in between horses and a bit of traffic fourth. Fleur de Nuit on the far outside racing in fifth. Down toward the inside, it's Noble Cause close to an easy pace sixth. Serena Star is seventh. Crazy Fling is eighth on the outside. 
Far the back, Krista Carlo riding high on You're the One for Me. Then it's What a Way to Go, Aaron's Reality, and the trailer is Preacher's Nightmare as they make their way into the back stretch. The pace is a temperate one. The opening quarter went in an easy 24 seconds flat. Irish Schilling, only mild pressure from Irish Punter. Just to their inside, Noble Cause with a good spot running in third. Flirt in the way up close to the pace in fourth. And then it's Bishop's Mate fifth, followed by Serena Star, Nimble, You're the One for Me, Crazy Fling, What a Way to Go, Aaron's Reality, and Preacher's Nightmare trails the field 12 lengths behind, an opening half mile of 48 and 4 fifth seconds. Around the far turn, it's still Irish Schilling trying to steal it on the lead. She's been in front the whole way, and the pace has been an easy one. Irish punter in no hurry to go by yet. Noble Cause pinned down inside. Nowhere to go at this point third. On the outside, Fleur de Louis clear sailing fourth. In behind horses, Bishop's made his fifth. They're off the turn and into the stretch. Now it's a sprint down to the wire. Irish Schilling has the lead, and Noble Cause has room to run, and running she is doing. Noble Cause forges to the front, leaving Irish Schilling behind. Farther back, it's Fleur de Louis and Serena Star. Noble Cause. It's on the turf, so who wins it? Jerry Bailey, legitimate favorite here. Kenneth and Sarah Ramsey, Billy Mop, the trainer. 694-63. Irish Schilling, long one, 47.80.11. Fleur de Nuit, 2.80. 17.341. Try 178.1072. three and up. This is an allowance race. The favorite here is the number five composer. Guess who? Jerry Bailey and Billy Mott. Western Winter, Scanopy Echo, and Curie's Clown sent out toward the lead. Curie's Clown takes charge early. It's Curie's Clown in front. Scanopy Echo guided over to the inside second. Dumani is up close. In behind, Gentleman Bow had to check hard. Benet Ari taken really wide on the turn. He was way out in the sixth path. Western Winter also came wide. Composer was riding the rails all the way. A break of three to Seattle, maybe, who is allowed to trail the field. They make their way into the backstretch. Kiri's Clown in control, hounded by Dumani. Three lengths back. Gentleman Bow third. Canopy Echo conserved fourth. Western Winter fifth, advancing on the outside. Composer running in sixth. About ten lengths from the lead now. Then Benet Erit and a break of four to Seattle Baby. The opening quarter went in 23 and two fifth seconds. Midway down the back stretch, Kiri's Clown still in control by a length. Dumati still sitting second by three. And Gentleman Bow third by three. Scanapieco, Composer getting in gear on the outside. Then Western Winter five lengths back to Benet Ari. They ran a half in 46 and one. The pace has been a taxing one for Kerry's Clown. Dumani right at his neck now. The field turning for home. Dumani comes wide into the stretch. Kerry's Clown bracing for the challenge. Gentleman Bow switched out for the stretch drive. Scanapieco fourth. And Composer is fifth at the eighth pole. Dumani forges past Kerry's Clown. Here's a fresh challenge from Gentleman Bow down to the final 16th. Dumani in front. Gentleman Bow wearing him down. Dumani half length. Gentleman Bow. Dumani ahead. Gentleman Bow. Here's the line. Gentleman Bow won. This is going to break an eight year old track record on that inner turf. Gentleman Bow getting up for Walden Farish and Carroll. W. Elliott Walden's the trainer. Jose Santos. 35, 20, 11, 65, 40. Dumani, 490, 340. Kiri's Clown, 340. 29 is $160. Here it is. It's the Travis. It's at a mile and a quarter. Uh, we, you may have seen on ABC delayed, but now you're really going to see it because you're going to hear the call from Tom Durkin. They're in the gate. And they are up in the Travers. Dr. Caton and Jerry Bailey lost his irons coming right out of the gate. He quickly recovered, but in the meantime, Prince Heaven has gone to the lead. On the inside, Louis Couture is his second, and Dr. Caton right up there now with Prince Heaven. Skip away is close to the pace and he's running fourth. To his outside, Will's Way came out in fifth early. A break of three to editor's note and Secreto de Estado is guided to the inside. Around the clubhouse turn, Louis Couture's and Prince Heaven to keep him company all the way. The opening quarter in 23 seconds flat and Louis Couture's leads the field into the backstretch. A narrow lead over Prince Heaven in the role of the spoiler here. 
Two lengths back to Dr. Caton on the outside. Skip away is kept close to the pace today. It's another length and a half back to Will's Way, who's only four lengths from the front runners. It's a break of another four. Back to editor's note. And the trailer is Secreto de Estado, while his stablemate presses the pace. The opening half mile was a demanding one. 46 and one fifth seconds. Room at the inside for Skip Away. A decisive move there by Jose Santos trying to get to the lead, but Louis Catores holds him off. Prince Heaven continues to run with him. Will's Way takes a run at the lead on the outside. Skip Away repelled by Louis Catores earlier, now retreats to fourth. Dr. Caton going in the wrong direction. Editor's note is running today, and he's moving on the far outside around the far turn here at Saratoga. And it is Louis Catores with the lead now. Louis Catores is the leader. Prince Heaven couldn't keep with him. Will's way is right there with him. Here comes Santos and Skip away again for another try at the lead on the outside. And then it's Editor's note with in striking range as the field turns for home. Will's way fighting his way to a short lead. Louis Catores battling on valiantly at the inside. Skip away is third with the furlong to go in the Travers. It's Will's way short lead. Louis Qatar is doing his best. He's still second. They're giving their all, straining with every stride. Will's way has won it. Will's way wins. A bang up second by. It's a great Travers because it has a lot of things to do in an analysis of it. If you're one of the lucky people able to see our show last week, H. James Bond was our guest. Will's way is his horse. But a lot of things happen in this race. We'll be reviewing it many times. The most important thing was leaving the gate. Dr. Caton hit the gate. Jerry lost his audience. He didn't get the lead. Changed the whole race. But these are nice people who got it, and they got it with a beautiful race. Rudland Stable, William Clifton Jr., H. James Bond, Jorge Chavez. Will's Way, 1666, 7330. Louis Couture's 47280. Skip away a bad trip, 240 to show. 52's $53. Try 524. $130. Here's the eighth, mile and a sixteenth on the Mellon Turf. Three and up, now one is a two, other than a pretty open board, as you can see. And they're off. Senior Doria comes out on the lead. Indian Wedding came out awkwardly, spots the field several lengths. Here's Don the Lumber Trader. Up and after the lead, Don the Lumber Trader takes the lead as they move into the first turn. Senior Doria running second, us man third. Dustin's Dream coming through on the inside fourth. Damien's Fantasy wide in fifth. Regiment got it to the inside sixth. Inverlucky is running in seventh. Java Nagila is eighth, followed by Snow Business running ninth and saving ground. Favorable running is tenth at a break of three. Back to slow starting Indian Wedding. And the trailer is meet approval about 12 lengths away from the lead. And on the lead, it's Don the Lumber Trader after a quarter of 23 and one-fifth seconds. On the outside, Usman in no hurry to go by. Under a hold, running second. Senior Doria third. Dustin's Dream got it to the outside now, advancing to fourth. Damien's Fantasy on the far outside, running in fifth. And Regiment having a good trip so far, drafting in behind horses five lengths from the lead with a half mile to go. Then it's Java Nagila, followed by a Snow Business favorable ruling. Meet approval at the back of the pack, along with Indian Wedding and Inverlucky. Around the far turn, down the Lumber Trader's been in front the whole way. There goes Usman, there goes Dustin's Dream. Usman taking the lead midway around the far turn. Down the Lumber Trader counters to come right back to reclaim it. Dustin's Dream is running in third. Damien's Fantasy, Java Nagila taking six wide into the stretch. Senior Dory is right there in behind the lead, along with Regiment. They're coming down to the last furlong, a charge past the eighth pole. Dustin's dream on the outside, down the lumber trader. Usman, Senior Dory, you know where to go. In between horses, Regiment on the far outside. Snow Business closing late, coming down to the line. All chasing Dustin's dream, and Dustin's dream. You're getting eight to one on this horse. It probably should have been 15 to one. But it's Jerry Bailey. He is winning with over almost half his horses on the turf. He's unreal. And they're all trip races, believe me. The Anstu Stables, Todd Fletcher, the amazing Jerry Bailey. 18, 28, 20, and 660. Snow Business, 655, 70. Senior Doria, $15. Jerry's third, the 5 threes, 139. Try 5 3, 12, $4,159. There's your pick three, so I don't even have to tell you about the pick six. The three is $2,374. As for the six, we'll see you tomorrow. Nobody picks six. Five of six over 10,000 carry over close to 100,000.
Here's the ninth, seven furlongs, 12th running, King's Bishop, grade two, $100,000 added, four three-year-olds, heavy favorite, honor and glory, Jose Santos. They're off. Honor and Glory comes out running immediately. Distorted humor to his inside. Delay of game to his outside. Just in behind. Elusive quality. Gold Fever with the pace on the outside. Clive and Hall lets the others fight it out. Up the back stretch. Honor and Glory surrounded by challengers. Distorted humor is there. In between horses. Elusive quality and delay of game is in the early fray. Five lengths, Gold Fever couldn't keep up the pace with those four. Fiveden Hall still trails the field. Up the back stretch, they rattled off a quarter in 22 and one fifth seconds. Into the far turn, elusive quality. Elusive quality taking over from Honor and Glory. Delay of game moves to second. Honor and Glory, the favorite, is back to third. Distorted humor within striking range fourth. Five lengths back to Gold Fever, another five to Cliveden Hall. They're coming to the top of the stretch. It's elusive quality in front, delay of game on the outside. Honor and Glory, third at the rail. Distorted humor swings into action on the outside. Top of the stretch, elusive quality. Two length lead coming to the eighth hole. Honor and Glory trying to get back in it. Delay of game is third. Distorted humor fourth. Gold Fever fifth. Final 16th. Elusive quality still in front. Honor and Glory running on bravely. He's coming fast. It's elusive quality. Honor and Glory. Here's the line. Too close to call. What a gutsy performance by the highweight. Honor and Glory. Whoever expected him to come back with that 123 pounds, but he is about to. Just wearing down elusive quality, which would have given Jerry his fourth. And I think Billy Mott is third or fourth. They seem to be winning everything. But it's not to be. The champion is coming back, and he's going to get them at the wire. Honor and glory, Michael Tabor, D. Wayne Lucas, Jose Santos. 4 3 220 elusive quality, 4 280 Distorted in Yuma, 240 3 4 22 Try 3 4 dollars Here's the 10th. They're going a mile. Inner turf, maiden fillies and mares. And the favorites are the one entry of Riding Hood and Saddam's Bride. Then it's Burrow racing sixth. On the inside is Riding Hood in seventh. Farther back is Sweet Relaunch, next in eighth. And then comes Lord Lady and No Sambuca. The first quarter in 23 and one. Sweet Emilou by a length as they move down the back stretch. Heat Lightning is running in second. It's a gap of two to my imagination in third. Then on the outside is Saddam's Bride in fourth. Polis Angel now back in fifth. Vero is a closer sixth. Then comes Riding Hood in seventh. Lord Lady gains some ground on the outside from eighth. Then it's a sweet relaunch and no Sam Booker and the half mile went in 46 and four. They still have sweet Emilou to catch. He's in front by a length and a half. Vero is gaining ground on the outside. My imagination coming through towards the inside. Then it's Saddam's Bride followed by Heat Lightning. And on the inside it's Polish Angel. Sweet Emilou is short lead. My imagination driving on the outside. Saddam's Bride comes through to be third. A late move here from Sweet Relaunch on the extreme outside. My imagination now with the lead. Sweet Relaunch gaining on the outside. My imagination. Sweet Relaunch. It's tight to tight to call. They wow. Take the blinkers off, said Samin and Tommy Boston. It's going to do the job for them. Watch this finish. Just getting up on the wire. We've had some beauties today. These 45,000 saw a great day. Sweet Relaunch. Gerald Stoutberg, Tom Boss, Jean-Luc Samin, 17, 49, 25, 30. My Imagination, 6, 10, and 4. Saddam's Bride, 260, 3, 4, 84. Try 3, 4, 1, 271, double 3, 3, 38, 80. Scratches tomorrow on the second, take out the 10. In the 5th, the 14, 15, 16, and 17. The 18, the 19, and the 20. In the 9th, 13, 14, 15, 16. 17, 18, and 19. I told you it was a tight show, $100,000 carryover. Watch out, Diane, I'm throwing the program. Good night, may the horse be with you.